Hello, welcome to PlayStation Access and welcome back to the Tuesday Checklist, where we use the flimsiest of excuses to have a conversation about our favourite games. Except today, when instead we're talking about those games we're deeply ashamed to admit that we've never played. Let's start with Rob, who, I mean, wow, this explains a lot. Okay, a game I am ashamed that I've never played. I have actually played it very, very briefly. Um, it's Half-Life 2. Oh, wow. Um, and I never played it. I was, I, I've only ever owned like a, a console. Like my first console I can remember owning probably was a PS1. Like I had a second-hand SNES, I think, that my dad bought me way before that. But like my first proper console that I owned and had in my bedroom was a PS1. Um, and so I think the first time I had an opportunity to play Half-Life 2 would have been when the Orange Box came out, yep. I believe, on PS3. Uh -huh. um, and I just for some reason missed it or just wasn't, I didn't really know anyone who had played the game. <clears throat> I was aware of it, like the games magazines I read were always like, oh my god, Half-Life 2 is so amazing. One of the best it games is. ever made. Um, <laughs> and I played Portal. Not interested. I played Portal 2 and obviously naturally like everyone with correct opinions thought that was an amazing <laughs> near perfection game and then Dave I think it was you who recommended that I get the orange box and, and play Half-Life 2 and I think I maybe played it for about an hour or so and did enjoy it but then it's just one of those games that for some reason I just never went back to never played and now I feel like it's it was too long ago it's too it's too old now to, to pick up like the, the things that make Half-Life 2 so special and so amazing are the fact that at the time it was released, it had all these ideas that were incredibly cutting edge. It looked incredible. It was an incredibly clever, well-crafted game. Um, but so much that's come since has either borrowed or taken inspiration from Half-Life 2 that I would feel going back to Half-Life 2 now, it wouldn't feel like the fresh trailblazing game that it is. Mm. I, wouldn't, I wouldn't get the true sense of how amazing Half-Life 2 is because everything in it I've played already in other games. Um, so for me enough. it's just gone, Half-Life 2 is just gone, I've, I've accepted, I've made peace with the fact that Half-Life 2 is this, it's definitely, I'm sure it's a brilliant game, and I'm not disagreeing that it's a brilliant game, it's just a game I'm never going to play, There must be sadly. so many memes you just don't understand. I'm sure there are. The intro to it, I remember you're on a train aren't you, going uh -huh. into the city, whatever the city's called. 17. City 17. <laughs> and it's one of those openings that it just know. the game knows doesn't it that it's good. It's like it's got that <laughs> it's got that little voice I can, coming on. I can already on. tell a story where Rob is like this. This personal thing is a bit off. Its <laughs> <laughs> it's oh, got calm down, game. Yeah. Oh, look at you. Train. It's you. very much like that. It's like welcome to City Seventeen or whatever. But what, is, what, it's actually, what it's actually <laughs> it saying? That. You just I know. But what the game is actually saying is welcome to this amazing game. <laughs> Oh, oh, I hate so that. Good. I hate when an amazing game says, welcome. Welcome. welcome, you're about to have an amazing time. No, oh. but it knows Shut it, up. doesn't Maybe it? Maybe I won't game. It knows it, it really knows it. Half-Life yeah. 2 knows how good it is. And but it, it is just, that good. Yeah, so I'm, I'm sure that, it is. So I'm, that, I'm, sure, okay. I'm sure it is as well. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe that's okay, I don't know. Strange. But, uh, yeah, it's... it's um, you want a really good game to kind of sheepishly sort of... I'd go, like games to be oh, humble, hi, to just sorry. let you discover how Look, good they know, are. I don't know if I'm good, I don't know what you Please think. Just, it's like when, you know when you... <laughs> here's my mechanic. <laughs> you know when you, you have a game that looks beautiful and it has that bit probably no, near the beginning of, of... And you're climbing up a tower and the music reaches a crescendo and you crest the hill or the tower or whatever and it shows you this amazing vista and it's like... Oh, Slow pan. Oh, look at me. Look how good I am. It's like, like yeah. I mean, I, it's fine, isn't it? But, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Half Life nothing, Two. I think way. Half Life Two is literally confident. just on a train. Yeah, but it's it doesn't really just do that. the way it presents itself is. You are straight. <laughs> you're straight into the story in Half Life Two. You were instantly. You, oh, it's so good. You're in a. You know, getting I'm not processed by the good. the army, the evil guys at a checkpoint. Mm. Combine. It's so cool. Great. Could be. I'm not like other games, it says. <laughs> it wasn't. It wasn't. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but, <it's... laughs> but back then it wasn't. It should be humble about it, though, shouldn't it? <laughs> uh, so it's, it's not just a game that I'm ashamed I've never played. It, it's sort of a genre. PlayStation? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, actually, I've never, I've, I've never played a video game. You've all caught me. And I'm one of those women. I knew it. <laughs> I'm one of those women on the a internet. Genre. You've never played a genre. I know a genre. Uh, the Soulsborne genre. Ooh. 
which is a bit of an odd one considering I worked on them. So I started out, uh, I came in on the tail end of Dark Souls launch, did all the DLC stuff for that, Dark Souls 2, and then I left. And then I went to PlayStation and they were like, so we've got this game by someone, it's quite difficult. Like, what do you think? I was like, oh my God, he's following me. Yeah. And it was Bloodborne, but I've legitimately never played them. What's weird though, is that watching lore videos on Dark Souls is one of my favorite yeah, things to do. Oh, yeah. I love watching Dark Souls lore videos and I love watching Let's Plays. Mm. I, like, I adore watching Dark Souls. Yeah, it's very soothing. It's really soothing, and especially when they start picking the items apart and oh, this must have belonged to that person and we found it here, which, you know, signifies this where they met their end and you're just like... Yeah. Because Dark Souls' story, it's only there if you want to find it. Mm. That's kind of what makes Dark Souls so special, is if you just want to run through and kill things, the game can appear vapid. But actually, as soon as you start reading any item description, you realise how crazy in-depth that team have gone and that... Miyazaki is probably quite a bit of a genius when it comes to bringing worlds to life. But I never wanted to play them. Wow. I, I am old enough now to admit I don't really go for a challenge in video games. Yeah. Uh, I want an escape. Uh, I'm normally quite an angry person anyway. I don't want to be angrier. Uh, Nathan should probably relate. <laughs> uh, you know, weirdly, yeah, because well, I have played them, but... You've played them all. Them being, yeah, I haven't finished them all, but I've, I've played played them all. And like them being hard is the thing that kind of made me worried about pain. Yeah. But in that kind of complete, I don't want to say that the word, but you know, like proper Dark Souls mansplaining, they're not actually that hard, on me. Don't be a noob. <laughs> Get good. I don't even think it's that. I just think you can just level up until you are whatever. The, the, you should play them effectively, is what I'm trying not to say. But <laughs> of course you should. That's I know, I know I should. That's the whole point of this video. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm, I, I feel ashamed because I do think they're incredible games and I'm really aware that they have the community and the hype that they do for a reason. Yeah. But I just look at them and I'm just like, that's not what I want to do for three hours. I don't want to spend three hours on the boss just so someone can tell me to get good and how they do the first time anyway. Yeah. I just, yeah. no, jog on. <laughs> but I absolutely love watching them. It is one of the most entertaining entertaining games out there as far as I'm concerned in terms of let's plays yeah. uh, and lore stuff but yeah I'm basically I'm crap at them there was a, <laughs> a, a streamer called Suvi uh, I think she's German she did a number of Dark Souls 3 bosses blindfolded Wow. all done off audio cues and it was just it was magic like it was the most beautiful thing I've ever witnessed in my life I was like <laughs> you're a goddess yeah. and I want to be your friend now yeah. Because you can do this thing, and I'll watch this this speed run that you've done like a million times, and every time I just think, I just think you're so cool, because you can play Dark Souls and I can't. But yeah, there you go. Dark Souls is mine. Absolutely ashamed to say that I've never played it, despite uh, it being super involved in my like my path in career in games. It's so weird. It's all pointed by From Software, and I've just never played. Mental. At least yeah. you've made the decision to never play. Haven't you? Did Mine make... was more shameful. I tried to play them and failed. Oh, <laughs> oh that's pretty bad. I mean, I did so play nice. Armored Core, Blimey. which is you know another From Software. So I didn't, you know, there is still love for From Software. It's just um, it's not Dark Souls love. Well, there are so many, aren't there? There are so many that I've not played. Yes. I'm very ashamed. Uh, you. There's even more that I've played the first 20 minutes, half an hour, maybe an hour if you're lucky of. Uh, and but that's that doesn't count. Very ashamed. I could have chosen Metal Gear Solid 3, I could have chosen Final Fantasy 7, uh, most of the Final Fantasy games, all but... Of all of them, do. I was thinking about all of these. No, I've, play, I've played a good five hours of Final Fantasy 15, so I think that one, I can say I've played... I mean, I didn't, you know, didn't get anywhere, but anyway. The one I've chosen is arguably one of the biggest games of all time. When I thought of it, I thought, oh my god, yes, this is the one. <laughs> It's Minecraft. Wow, okay. Ah, yeah, okay. I've, I can honestly say I've never played Minecraft, um, which is mental. It's particularly crazy when you think that we used to work at the Yogscast where everybody was playing Minecraft. That's why you didn't, because it was like, I'm going to be the cool kid by not doing what everybody else is Minecraft, doing. Minecraft, what's that? Yeah. 
Yeah. Um, you know, it, it came to PlayStation, everyone was very excited, I was very excited. We did play it on their Christmas tree once. Did we? Mm-hmm. <laughs> did I, I play it? Now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Kim. Well, I don't think that counts, because but, A, I can't remember, and B, I mean, I don't think that's playing Minecraft. Oh yeah, we did play it with Kim. That's true. <laughs> well, this has but gone a bit wrong. sat down and played Minecraft. I've never, I've never, I don't own Minecraft, I've never had it installed, I've never played it by myself. Stream aside, um, and, and I think that's mad because it, A, yes, it was probably one of the biggest games in the world ever, but B, it was probably one of the biggest games in the world ever for a very good reason, which is like how just massively expansive the potential is for what you can do in Minecraft and how fun it is and a huge online community for discovering what you can do in, in Minecraft and how it all works and you know the potential for like and building and people getting together and building amazing things. Things that I love like the Starship Enterprise and things. <laughs> people built a replica of the Starship Enterprise in Minecraft. The list goes on uh, and I've never played it. I've never played it and I don't understand it. Like as in, because I've never played it, I know you could load up Minecraft right now and I don't think I could make a pickaxe. I know how, I know, get, I get the idea. Did you make the pickaxe? I thought you were given... Oh, Holly. Oh my. I played Dragon Quest Builders, which was the uh, far more entertaining. <gasps> it might have been, because that's games. another game I haven't played. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't play Minecraft either, but I did play Minecraft. No, you start, Mar- you, you start Minecraft with just your little fists, and you have to just go up to trees just and punch just a punch a tree, tree to, to bits, rest. collect the little wood squares, wood cubes, and then, yeah, you have to make a pickaxe, and I guess it's it's wood and stone, I think. I'm not quite sure of the, the light diagram. And that's a really cool system, by the way. The yeah. sort of recipes for making things, but yeah, no idea. And I do actually now remember make, uh, doing that live stream with Kim, being completely bewildered by what was going on. We had to collect some sort of special substance, and we were going to make a portal to another world. I thought I thought Minecraft was just here. You are in a basically blank world, and you have to build a nice house so that at night the bad things don't get you. Isn't and that life? Well, yeah, <laughs> luckily some p- people have built the houses already. Been I just have to buy them. For months and nothing yeah, exactly. Well, my four bedroom mansion. I know, exactly. But yeah, Minecraft, probably one of the biggest games in the world ever. It's and good shout out I, I, I'm it sticking is. with I've never I think played. Minecraft it. is officially the second best selling game of all time. Really? All platforms. Second only to Tetris. Imagine wow, if you'd I've played it, Tetris. If you bought it, it could have tipped it over there. It could have been Tetris. Yeah. Oh, well. Maybe I will. Should I? I'm not going to. As I sit here, I haven't decided what which one of the embarrassing. I'm ashamed about so many things. <laughs> Some of them include games I haven't played. Um, uh, I could go for. Do you know the one that the one that kind of comes up the most often? And I'm like, ah, oh, I just haven't haven't played that. It would have been Metal Gear, but now I've played the first Metal Gear, so I think that box has been not ticked, but I've looked at the box. You did something to that <laughs> game and it wasn't play it. Yeah. Oh, I see. Oh my You're god. One of the, it was you in the comments. Cool. It was uh, in the comments. I think when people WhatsApp, are learning things on Facebook. Facebook. No, so no, you no were high there. Fives. That's yes. why, yeah. You were. All you games are tough to play. It was painful. It's Whatever. the liquid snake boss fight that did it for me. Right? I've, 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 I've never seen someone online. unsuccessfully sneak for so long oh, in a game. Look. Like, you didn't do it once. You didn't take a person down, I think, once the, successfully. The, the no. parameters well, of what poor. is and isn't stealth. Poorly designed. I agree, yeah, yeah, Dave. It was just action. There was no tactical and there was no espionage. It was just action. Someone should write to Kojima and complain. I'll get right on that. Thank you very much. I know he's busy at the moment. We had tactics, chaff. Yeah, <laughs> that's basically all we used. Anyway, oh! we're being sidetracked. I was going to do Final Fantasy, but I don't care about not Final Fantasy. So <laughs> you just you're not ashamed just do it about not playing Final wrong. Fantasy. You're proud of not having yeah. played yeah, Final Fantasy. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, so uh, it's Assassin's Creed. Never really. Good. <gasps> really? Never. Not one of them. I tried that. I remember the game, the first game coming in when I was working on official PlayStation wow. magazine, and we're all excited about it. And I lo- like, I was a huge fan of um, uh, Prince of Persia: Sands of Time, um, and then increasingly not the sequels. And I was like, you know. I know it's some of that team, I'm excited about what this could be, and it just didn't quite flow, there was a real kind of, um, obviously Assassin's Creed is better than Sands of Time, but, because uh, it's just a, you know, next generation and it's like just more developed, but. I don't uh, know, Sands of Time is amazing. But the, but the movement in Sands of Time, a lot of it was kind of, ca- the animation was more, ca- but it felt, it was more canned and more kind of, uh, more simplistic, but it gave you a sense of flowing 
and being like, you know, the wall running and stuff. I love that. And that's basically all I wanted from Assassins. And when it didn't quite get it the first time, I was like, you know, I'm never playing this game again. Um, so I played it for maybe an hour. And then I, and then like, you know, I was like, it's a shame that didn't work. Ubisoft <laughs> <laughs> and then like as the other games have like mounted up you know how many of them are there like, like 12 eight? now like it's crazy like main ones yeah and like I've been on trips I've interviewed people about these games um, I've you know I've covered them but I've never sat down and gone because part of me is like if I'm going to play a series I want to play it from the beginning but I, you know I, I've got it in my head I didn't really like Assassin's and I know Assassin's 2 did a lot of things right that they wanted so to do so good I think that's my favourite is still the best one and Assassin's Creed 2 or Brotherhood is specifically Brotherhood is yeah. fantastic and 4 great I don't think you need to. Four was amazing. Great. I think you're now, shouting numbers at me now. Oh my god! Yeah, yes. Origins. I don't think you now. You need to have played. No. You know now, where they're at a place where you could just I, play. I Origins. played an hour of uh, oh, Odyssey at E3, um, and that's not even out yet. Yeah. After so Assassin's Creed Three, the rest are sort of more self-contained. Like the yeah. first three, Brotherhood right. and Revelations, are this Desmond Miles story. So maybe I'll play. If I was going to jump in, which one should I? Origins. Now I just play Origins. Yeah, just play Origins. Play Origins. Yeah. I think Rob's right. There's it's so the much best, more. The best one since two, I think. Wow. You could even the Ezio collection on PS4. You could play Assassin's Creed two, because that start that's the start of Ezio story. The Ezio collection yeah. is that Assassin's Creed two, two Brotherhood two. and Revelations, yeah. right. which are the three. D- it's the of trilogy Ezio's. of Ezio. Yeah. At this it point, it still has Desmond in it, which is another story. But yeah. You, 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 you just ignore that stuff. What other what games could you play by sound alone? Metal Gear Solid. Bit trick. Guitar Hero. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I could. I probably could Yakuza karaoke by now. <laughs> I probably just, my hands will just automatically hit the buttons. Oh, we've got to do it now. We've got to do that on the channel. What? We all have to try and play one game by sound alone. That should be the we next can, title. We can games pitch. we can play by sound alone. <laughs> yeah. Games that's... we can play by sound alone. Because <laughs> you are yeah, alone. Alone. Yes, join us soon for Sightless Let's Play series. Or just one series, really, because it's likely to last forever. Anyway, let us know in the comments if you've enjoyed this video, and do tell us all about your guilty never played games. Hit the bell icon if you want to be notified when we put a new video live, and join us again next week for another Tuesday checklist.